What's up, everybody? Brian back from the PT channel here to talk about Captain America's Civil War. It comes out in May, so we got a couple, two months for that, but they just dropped the second trailer on there. We tried to piece the first trailer with this one with it. So the first one came together. This is what you saw. You saw Falcon, Captain America, and the Winter Soldier together. And he said, do you remember me You're trying to do this? And Bucky Barnes has got his memory back to understand who... Uh, Captain America is um, and that's really how it started for that and remember this is a Captain America movie it's not an Avengers movie so there'll be more Captain America about this here's the epic scene with him holding a helicopter but the t-shirt kind of linked the two parts together so again we don't know the sequence of any of this we're just trying to link stuff together a little crazy by him holding a helicopter but you see some different similarities in the scenes of the first two trailers he had Falcon jumping off a building and his wings come out and he glides away with some gunfire and trying to get away takes out these two soldiers so not sure what they're doing what part of the movie this is the beginning of the middle or whatever but just trying to piece things together Here's a cool picture of uh, Captain America taking this guy out with a jumping kick. You see Crossbones here is going to be another guy in the mix here with it against Captain America. He was the guy in the second one that got crushed by the building and survived somehow as he punches him back. And he's a nemesis of Captain America. So we'll see him at some part of it. Then you got Captain America getting arrested here for something there. You don't know if this is after the scene with uh, Winter Soldier getting away or whatever, but they take his crap, they take his shield, they take him away, they detain him, they hold him, and probably for helping the Winter Soldier or whatever. I don't know if that's really the point, but that's what I would think there with Falcon and some guy in a suit. I don't know who that is. You got uh, Iron Man there to come and help him I guess to get out of it I don't know if he's there there but here's a new scene from the new trailer with the the hand a little part of the suit he doesn't have the whole suit on but he's prototype or something but Bucky Barnes going to shoot him take him out but Iron Man is resilient fights him off and he's like <laughs> Iron Man gets shot at and he's like what the fuck but he protects himself takes himself out with that part of the suit on his hand you got the uh, general here from the Hulk movie. He's going to probably be the main head guy that runs the ship on there, at least with Captain America's side. And in the in the meeting here, you can see they show you clips from the old other stuff of the other movies of the, the tolls and stuff. You see Black Widow, Falcon, and Scarlet Witch with Captain America on that side. But in other scenes, you see that Scarlet Witch, Black Widow, and Captain America stay together, but not... Black Widow. Black Widow is on the side of um, Iron Man. Does she flip-flop? There's some play that someone has been flip-flopping here. Here's a pretty cool iconic scene of the trailers where Bucky Barnes is on a motorcycle running from the cops. So you got Black Panther and Captain America chasing him. So he's helping him getting away. And Black Panther is like super fast, ridiculous, but he's going to be a pretty awesome character to the Marvel Universe here. And at some point he gets away um, on a motorcycle and they're running after him again here. In the new trailer, and Black Panther is a badass, and there's got to be some underlying thing with, to go against the Winter Soldier. If we might see a little backstory of that or something. We'll see a little bit of the Black Panther and Takala, where they came about, but that's a pretty cool scene there. He takes out Bucky on the motorcycle, and they're really going going at each other, and flattens the, the tire there, takes out the motorcycle, and... Black Panther is really trying to take out Bucky Barnes' Winter Soldier for some reason there. We're not sure, but the suit looks pretty awesome. Um, it's a pretty cool scene in there, too, where they're fighting on the rooftop, and the, the helicopter comes, starts shooting at him and everything. And I think Winter Soldier gets away, of course, but you have Black Panther's suit is made of vibranium, the same, so you know, it's laced with that. It's the same stuff in the shield there, so the vibranium is in there so he can protect himself against the uh, gunfire, which is pretty awesome. Black Panther is going to be a pretty cool own movie there too. This was a little scene in the uh, newer trailer, an explosion in there too. And you can see that is probably Takala protecting his father or clutching his father or something as his father dies but tries to do something there. Um, at some point, Bucky gets a suit and whatever and he's taking a gun, links up with Captain America again. And they have to go do something. Maybe they're going to find the stuff behind Winter Soldier or something there too. They get to some point and it was kind of cool in the trailer when Iron Man opened a door and uh, started talking to Captain America. This has got to be later on as you can see Iron Man's got a black eye. Um, might be from Bucky, I don't know, without the suit. Maybe he punched him and gave him a nice, nice shiner, nice black eye there. You can see they're in some area. Is it the wasteland? Is it somewhere there too? That's got to be a correlation of the gun that he took from the the uh, rack before 
with uh, Winter Soldier there, and he's behind him. You see Captain America, Winter Soldier, and Iron Man there, and the tube that was in the latest trailer that looks like it's similar to the tube that Winter Soldier was in. That's how the, the trailer opened up with them opening up a key and the tube comes up. But as you can see, Winter Soldier's on the ground there, so Captain America is fighting Iron Man by himself. Iron Man took out Winter Soldier at some point, somehow, but I remember seeing the first trailer, and it was pretty awesome, the fight scene between uh, Captain America and Iron Man with Winter Soldier helping out Captain America. Definitely excited for this movie. I'm, I'm really excited to see this. I'm, I'm a bigger X-Men fan, but, you know, they're kind of got me in with all these different action superheroes, and it's pretty cool, and I could do this all day. A nice homage to the first Captain America movie when he was getting his ass kicked by the bully, and there was pretty cool. And here's a cool scene from the first trailer where Bucky is, is fighting Iron Man, and he tries to rip out the... <laughs> His, uh, his heart basically and it's pretty cool does he doubt he succeeds because Iron Man is going to be around but they're going to basically fight it out it's going to be an epic fight scene probably with some good music and cool and I remember this scene right here is where Captain America takes his shield throws it Iron Man's face it bounces off Bucky catches it throws it back to <laughs> Captain America and all like it's like 20 seconds, but it's awesome. It's like super, it happens super fast, and it's a pretty cool scene. Iron Man's definitely at the disadvantage here, where he's got two superheroes against one, but Iron Man thinks he can handle all things because he's a cocky, over the top guy. But I don't know. Would you be Team Captain? Would you be Team um, Iron Man? Hawkeye is rumored to die in this movie. I don't know if that happens in this. I don't know if any of the superheroes die, but we'll see. He fires a rocket. There's an explosion in it that it happens super fast, but you slowed it down. You see the arrows kind of shoot out that way and the biggest thing is the next scene or, or there is who shoots war machine now that's not a rock that looks like a plasma blast or not a not a arrow blast but scarlet witch seems to have the power of the jewels that um the mind stone energy sorry i was blanking out that she, you see um hawkeye's on the ground there and you see he she's kind of controlling vision and this is when Iron or War Machine got shot down. And did she do it with the Vision's power? Did the Vision do it? Did she change the Vision or whatever? We, we don't know. But it looks like the Vision's energy blast took him out. And Iron Man's freaking out because his, his good friend there is, is falling down to the ground <laughs> to death. He's probably has to go catch him. I, I would go see, assume or something or whatever. But because he's high up there and he's shot down and he's not really controlling himself and takes the mask off and for some reason got a bloody nose. But. Either way, that's kind of what the big iconic scene was of that. He's holding him there too, and you know Captain America's pissed off, of course, but they're fighting each other. They, they want to win on their side too. Here's a little quick little thing. It's possibly the raft prison to connection there. We're not sure what, what it exactly is, but it happens pretty quick. Um, this looks like where the general comes back. Is this towards the end of the movie? Is it the beginning of the movie? But I, I have a feeling it would be towards the end. Um, looks like it's a prison for sure, holding cells for everything. I think the prison would be something for the future. See, Tony there has got a broken arm or something. He's in a sling. He's got a black eye from before. He's got that sling on there. Black Widow is talking to Iron Man there, Tony Stark, but he's got the sling on again. So that's got to be later on after the battle. Here's Team Cap against uh, Team Iron Man in here. The iconic kind of scene where they, where they duke it out for that to see. And it's pretty cool to see them go against each other. A nice iconic scene at the airport at some point. It's got to be the end because Black Panther's or, or towards the middle because Black Panther's in there. You got Ant-Man riding a Hawkeye arrow. That's kind of quick and it, you might miss that. And it's pretty cool to see how fast he he uh, was jumping through the uh, with the arrow and how little he is. But it's such a quick little burst in the trailer that it's going to be pretty cool. The Ant-Man series will be a nice addition to uh, the Marvel Universe here as he jumps off the arrow onto Iron Man's suit, which is, which is pretty cool. The idea of that is just pretty amazing that he's got this suit that he can jump and flip and you won't even see him on there too. But this, does he get in the suit itself? Does he rip up Tony's suit? Does he really mess it up? I don't know. But it seems pretty awesome to think that uh, Ant-Man is going to be an addition to the Marvel Universe here against a huge superhero like that. Here's probably before the battle or something, before the energy blast hits um, War Machine. Under ruse. That's what he says. That's a uh, little kid underwear. Basically, if you don't know that, it's from the 80s or 90s. And that shows that Spider-Man comes, takes his shield. You see Scarlet Witch 
Scarlet Witch. Black Widow, I mean, behind Captain America there. So you see Black Widow on that side. Maybe she flip-flopped a little bit. And she's, she's tied up. Spider-Man would be addition to the uh, new Captain America movie. You want to say Avengers, but it's not. It's a Captain America movie. But it's cool to see Spider-Man connected with here out of that other Fox uh, drama. But uh, thanks, guys, for checking it out. What do you think? Would you be Team Captain, Team Iron Man? Can't wait for May. And thanks, guys.